In a world where AI is at the forefront of innovation, smartphones are becoming more sophisticated. But is an AI-first approach right for a modern-day smartphone? Let's find out. It's Nirav Android Authority, and this is the Huawei Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro. The Mate 10 follows the trend of other 2017 flagships and comes with a full-view display that essentially means it has smaller bezels than previous years. The Mate 10 has a 5.9-inch QHD IPS display with 16x9 aspect ratio, while the Mate 10 Pro comes with a 6-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 18x9 aspect ratio. Both screens also support HDR10, so you'll be able to watch HDR content natively through apps like YouTube and Netflix. The switch to smaller bezels has resulted in other changes to the design. Both devices come with curved rears to improve the in-hand experience, as well as a signature horizontal stripe across the camera. The most noticeable change, however, is the fingerprint sensor. While the Mate 10 Pro keeps the fingerprint sensor on the rear like previous years, the Mate 10 has squeezed it below the screen on the front. The biggest star of the show is the Kirin 970, which is the first smartphone chipset to come with a dedicated neural processing unit for AI. Huawei says the MPU allows the Mate 10 to see what's around you and react accordingly, and this is most noticeable in the camera. When pointing at a subject, the MPU recognizes the type of subject, such as plant, food or flower, and adjusts the image accordingly, both while taking the picture and in post-processing. Talking of the camera, both devices come with the next generation of Leica dual cameras. The main sensor is a 12 megapixel RGB sensor with OIS, and the secondary camera is a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor. The Mate 10 is also the first smartphone to offer f1.6 aperture on both lenses, which tops the LG V30, which offers it in its main sensor only. Under the hood, both devices come with the flagship specs list, but the differences are quite pronounced. The Mate 10 comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of expandable storage, while the Mate 10 Pro has 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage that can't be expanded. The Mate 10 comes with a 3.5mm audio jack, while the Mate 10 Pro relies on USB-C digital audio only. The Mate 10 supports LTE Cat 16, which offers data speeds of up to 1 gigabits per second, while the Mate 10 Pro offers speeds of up to 1.2 gigabits per second. The Mate 10 Pro also comes with IP67 dust and water resistance, which has been missing on previous Huawei flagships. Both devices are powered by a 4000 mAh battery and support Huawei Supercharge, which charges to 50% in just 30 minutes. The EMUI interface is often the most polarizing feature on Huawei smartphones, and last year's EMUI 5.1 was a welcome step in the right direction. This year, Huawei has jumped to EMUI 8.0 as both devices are running Android Oreo out of the box. The company has also designed parts of the interface with AI in mind, and these are most seen during day-to-day -day use, so we'll need to wait for the full review to truly test these out. That said, the MPU is said to offer contextual suggestions, such as enabling the reading mode to dim the blue light when reading a book, and offering to save details when taking a picture of a business card. Alongside this, Huawei has also introduced a new floating navigation dock. It can be moved anywhere on the screen, and offers easy navigation options such as one tap to go back, a long press to go home, and swiping left or right to activate the recent apps menu. It's a little confusing, but you can enable the on-screen keys if you'd rather have a more traditional experience. Huawei is also trying to appeal to business users, with the addition of a single cable projection mode that lets your Mate 10 connect to a secondary screen. The dockless experience can either mirror or extend your smartphone screen, and you can navigate the interface either by pairing a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, or by navigating using the Mate 10 screen itself. When projecting your screen, calls and other sensitive content won't display on the big screen to ensure that your privacy is respected. The Mate 10 will be available in black, champagne gold, pink gold, and my personal favorite, mocha brown. While the Mate 10 Pro will come in mocha brown, titanium gray, pink gold, and midnight blue. The Mate 10 and Mate 10 Pro offer an interesting insight into Huawei's overall smartphone portfolio. An AI-first approach suggests the company believes AI can allow its smartphones to stand out from the competition. But the actual benefits of this won't be clear until we've spent enough time with each device. We'll find out in our upcoming review of both devices, but for now, what do you think of the Mate 10 and do you plan to buy it? Let us know your views in the comments below and head over to androidauthority.com for a more in-depth look at Huawei's new flagships. Once you're done, head back here, hit the bell so you get notified about our videos on all the latest flagships, and don't forget to subscribe, because we are your source for all things Android.